not what you want to find in your home. Ooh. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 venomous spiders. A bite could range from a painful blister to a more serious hospital visit. Only the female bite is dangerous, and their bites have caused some human deaths. One thing is clear, you'd rather not be bitten by one. For this list, we're looking at the world's most dangerous spiders, ranking them according to their poisonous potential. Have you come across any of these spiders? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Southern Black Widow Spider While the Southern Black Widow is among the most well-known and feared spiders, is its bad reputation accurate? This arachnid is relatively common in certain areas of the United States. Females of the species are often identified by a unique hourglass marking. When she bites, the venom takes hold, bringing a slow paralysis. Only mature females have large enough jaws to envenomate humans. Bites can cause muscle aches, swelling, or even make it difficult to breathe. Black Widow females have a bad girl reputation, and with reason. After mating, she's hungry, and her favorite snack is her mate. Luckily, most adults tend to recover. But this spider's venom is still dangerous to vulnerable groups like children and the elderly. If bitten, they should seek immediate medical attention. So whatever you do, look out for that telltale red hourglass. Number 9. Yellow Sack Spider Some spiders prefer to mind their own business and stick to the shadows. However, the yellow sack spiders are bold predators. The rather tiny size of this creepy crawly allows it to get around easily. This enables it to go from being a rather irritating garden arachnid to a persistent unwanted house guest. Certain species of yellow sack spiders can produce a bite that usually results in swelling and discomfort. But as with most spiders, reactions can vary from person to person. In rare instances, a yellow sack spider could leave its victim feeling sick enough to want to visit a doctor. Number 8. Brown Widow Spider Although it's not as famous as its cousin, the brown widow is still a species to look out for. With striped legs and an orange hourglass on its body, the brown widow has quite an eye-catching look. Fond of tropical locales and known to hide around barns and houses, the brown widow will not usually seek out human contact. While the males don't bite, the females of the species will if threatened. Some researchers believe that its venom is much more potent than the black widow's. You can see they're not naturally aggressive from how they're playing dead when knocked out of the nest. But they are venomous. A bite could range from a painful blister to a more serious hospital visit. Luckily, brown widow spider's bites don't usually deliver a large quantity of venom. Number 7. Brown Recluse Spider It is not what you want to find in your home. Ooh. Traditionally located in southeastern and central areas of the United States, the brown recluse typically comes stamped with a violin pattern on its body and maxed out stealth skills. The spider's name is not simply for show, as the brown recluse sticks to well-hidden areas and seldom brings attention to itself. One of the more common ways that people get bit is they're in clothing or clutter, uh, inside shoes. Its venom is necrotic and can be unpredictable. While some people might end up with nausea and a reddish mark that fades without complications, others can develop a blister or a lesion susceptible to gangrene. Luckily, the brown recluse doesn't often bite deeply or frequently. They're actually very harmless, and if you want to treat them, the best thing to do is to bring in a professional to treat your house and then maintain with flat paper inexpensive sticky traps to keep a check on the population in your house. Number 6. Red-Headed Mouse Spider Compared to some other species that call Australia home, the red-headed mouse spider almost comes across as quaint. It's a black spider with an instantly recognizable bulging head that is very red in males. The mouse spider likes to stick to burrows near water routes, thus making human contact relatively rare. But humans who do encounter it should remember that this spider has a highly toxic venom. While a bite from a red-headed mouse spider has rarely led to severe symptoms, victims are better off playing it safe and getting checked out. Number 5. Six-Eyed Sand Spider Found in southern African deserts and somewhat resembling a crab, the six-eyed sand spider spends its days setting traps to eat insects and scorpions. This arachnid predator is mainly the type to keep to itself and pretty much wants nothing to do with humans. Its behavior has made bites involving the species almost unheard of. 
and that is very much a good thing, as the spider's venom is suspected to be toxic enough to cause necrosis, killing the tissue around the bite. Oh, and did we mention there is currently no anti-venom? Although the spider's introverted nature keeps it from being a threat to humans, it still has enough firepower behind its fangs to be a danger. Number 4. Chilean Recluse Spider The Chilean spider is widely considered to be the most dangerous arachnid in the recluse genus. A South American native that's indulged in some sporadic immigration, the Chilean recluse spider has six eyes and often bears a violin marking on its thorax. It's very fortunate that this arachnid likes to keep its distance from humans because its venom packs a hefty punch. The Chilean recluse's bite is toxic enough to result in fatal consequences if enough venom is injected. But even in less severe cases, the spider's venom is necrotic and can lead to loxacillism, a condition that can take months to heal. Number 3. Redback Spider Now for another Australian resident. Also known as the Australian Black Widow, the redback is from the same genus as the widow spiders earlier in our list. The female of the species has a red stripe on its body, is considerably larger than the male, and has way more dangerous bites. The redback possesses a potent neurotoxic venom. Only the female bite is dangerous, and their bites have caused some human deaths. Although they don't go out of their way to attack humans, redback spiders have been known to settle down in areas that bring them into contact with people. And what's brought it here is the extraordinary way in which it uses silk. This makes biting incidents much more likely. Their toxin is known to cause intense pain and other symptoms like nausea and sweating. Fortunately, an anti-venom introduced in 1956 has helped lower the chances that these spiders will strike a fatal blow. Number 2. Brazilian Wandering Spider It's best to stay out of this spider's way when it goes on a stroll. A proactive hunter, the Brazilian Wandering Spider is hairy, large, and extremely venomous. It's called a wandering spider, and the reason it's, it's called a wandering spider is that it doesn't build a web. It just continually wanders in search of food. Instead of just keeping up webs, this species goes for walks and finds its prey. The spider's bite can produce a range of alarming symptoms, including hypothermia, vertigo, and convulsions in humans. These guys have a really nasty venom. It actually kills a number of humans every year. If enough venom is injected, the wound could be life-threatening. This potent weapon makes the wandering spider a hunter of incredible power. Able to kill insects, lizards, and mice. Animals as large as the spider itself. Fortunately, the Brazilian wandering spider only tends to bite humans with a relatively low amount of venom when it's provoked. And if you have a bad encounter with this arachnid, an anti-venom does exist. One thing is clear, you'd rather not be bitten by one. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Sydney Funnelweb Spider Funnelweb spiders have earned quite a nasty reputation. However, not every species is equally dangerous. While the northern tree-dwelling variant should be taken seriously, the one you should really worry about is the infamous Sydney funnelweb spider. And the key to its reign are these. Two of the biggest, most powerful jaws in Spiderland, backed by super venom. Inhabiting the area around Sydney, the capital city of New South Wales in Australia, these spiders like to dwell in humid habitats. Like most spiders, they usually only bite humans when feeling threatened, but that knowledge will probably be of little comfort to its victims. To work these daggers, they must raise their bodies up and strike down. They often clutch onto their target and bite again and again. The potent venom from males can cause intense pain, muscular twitches, and disorientation. In worst-case scenarios, a Sydney funnelweb spider's bite can be fatal if it's not treated. Now, that venom is a neurotoxin, and if you do not receive medical attention, you're bitten by a male Sydney funnelweb spider, you are most likely, if not definitely, going to die. So definitely seek medical attention. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.